hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be telling you why i decided to stop using rice water i did it for two weeks i tried it my hair just didn't like it um i thought i was high porosity but i redid my test and it actually says that i'm low porosity so i'm not sure if i had protein overload or what was going on but my hair simply did not like the rice water so today in this video i'm still going to show you how i prepared my rice water when i was using it but i'm just I, my hair just i don't really know how to describe it it was dry like it was moisturized during the process but my hairstyles didn't last as long as they usually would without the rice water and I was having a great deal of breakage. I was having issues with shedding more than normal. It's a different experience than I'm used to on wash days and the days after my twists have been taken down because if you know, or some of you may not know, that I wear my twists for at least a week unless I have somewhere to go. So when I was taking my twists down, my hair would last for like two days. When normally it would last me until I don't know, possibly another week, depending on how my hair decided to act that week. But I just just had to give up the rice water. I know a lot of people wanted me to keep doing it, but my hair just simply didn't like it. And my ends, my ends, my ends just looked terrible after using the rice water. Like it was just bad. And I know I need a trim, but I don't think I need a trim the as bad as the rice water was making my hair seem. So, maybe if I do it like once a month, but as far as weekly, it just cannot happen. In this video, you will still see my rice water um, update from week two. And I'll still do a lymph check at the end of the video so you can see where my hair is after using the rice water only twice. This is the rice that I use to prepare my rice water. You can use any type of rice, but this is the particular rice that I use. To prepare my rice water, I have a mason jar and I'm going to put in one cup of rice. And then I'm going to follow that by a cup and a half of water. And to avoid the horrific smell that it has, I'm going to add in some drops of peppermint. I did about 10. I shake mine up personally to make sure that all the rice has some type of peppermint over it or on it or something. And there you have it. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. Today is April 16th and I don't think the rice water has been used on my hair for about a good three weeks now. So let's see where my hair is. I'll start with the front. Let's take a little bit and my hair is kind of old but it's right here like right below my brush strap in the front. It 
it's probably not a major difference from when I was using the rice water, but at the same time, the rice water did not help the area that I needed it to help the most, if that makes sense. Like the area up here where my hair was like really, really thin, it hasn't really grown much. And my hair is kind of old right now, so it's not gonna look all fresh and new how it did with the pictures that I'm gonna insert here. But I'm going to try some different techniques to see if I can get my hair to grow in those places. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye.